Having everything on wheels in a small garage shop like what I've got is awesome for when you wanna just change things up a little bit, try a new workflow, or you've got a bigger project that requires a little bit more footprint on the floor. Everything in my shop is on wheels except my outfeed assembly table, and today I'm gonna to fix that by adding some casters. First off, huge thanks to Rockler for sending me out this workbench caster set. I've had a set on my workbench for a couple years and it's been awesome. You simply flip down the lever with your foot and it'll lift your bench onto the wheels and you're ready to roll. I've never kicked or tripped on these things, but for my assembly table, I didn't want to risk stubbing my toe because I'd be walking around it much more. That's where the quick release workbench caster plate kit comes in to save the day, or my toes. In the caster kit, you get four foot activated casters rated to lift 100 pounds each, which gives it a 400 pound total lifting capacity. With the quick release plates, you get four solid steel mounting plates and the hardware. To mount the plates, you simply measure and mark for two holes, one at two and a half inches from the ground and the other at four inches from the ground. Then grab a quarter inch drill bit and drill all the way through. Now, if your workbench is dark like mine, use something lighter than a black magic marker to make your marks. I don't know why I decided to do this. I guess I just like to do things the hard way. These plates are meant to be installed in three quarter inch material, but you can use them in thicker material. You'll just have to get longer through bolts. So using the supplied hardware, a ratchet, and my impact driver, I got the nuts and bolts all tightened up on the first leg and then went and did all of the same steps on all the other three legs. With the plates mounted, I could add the wheels to the foot assemblies. Just one lock washer and one nut for each and they were ready to be mounted. Mounting these things is really easy. You just remove the locking pin, slide in the assembly, and then put the locking pin back in. Simple as that. With my assembly table now on wheels, I'll even be able to run a broom through the shop once in a while. Don't mind the floor though. I plan on having Brad from Fix This Build That come up and lay down some epoxy flooring so he won't be so triggered by the overspray. After a quick cleanup, I can then move my assembly table back into place and line up those miter slots on my table saw and then easily remove the casters to save my toes. I'll probably keep the casters close by underneath my workbench for whenever I wanna move my assembly table, but now that everything is on wheels, cleaning will be a snap, or so I hope. Speaking of hope, I hope you liked this video and if you did, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. I've got a couple other videos queued up for you to check out. See you on the next one.